what of the occupation does the European pay for? Sure. Well, everything to be to be uh, pretty much everything uh, to be to be to 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 be perfectly perfectly honest with you. One of one of the reasons why I decided to write this book was uh, I became aware. Um, I, th I think around about two thousand and seven. Um, actually, very uh, the. Uh, the the explanation of why I decided to write this book is quite a mundane one. Um, I attended a, a conference in the European Parliament in 2007 uh, which addr addressed um, the relationship between the European Union and Israel and that was the first time I, beca I became aware uh, despite having covered, despite having been been in Israel and the occupied territories, um, uh, it, was a, it was the first time I, I became aware just how much, the, the just how close the European Union is uh, to 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 Israel um, to the point that 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 Israel is effectively a member state of the of the European Union. To answer your question specifically about um, Europe paying for the occupation, that is exactly what what happens. The European Union likes to boast about the fact that it is the largest donor to the Palestinian Authority, and it likes to portray. Um, its donations to the Palestinian Authority as acts of generosity, but the reality is that um, the European Union is relieving Israel of its responsibilities under international law. The uh, I, I won't go in, into huge amount of details on this, but the the, the Hague Conventions and the Fort Geneva Convention uh, from nineteen forty nine both make clear that it is the responsibility of the occupying power to um, meet the basic needs of the people on, on their occupation. What is happening is that the European Union is stepping into the breach and paying for things that Israel is legally obliged to provide to, to the, the people of Palestine. This year alone, in 2009, uh, so far, the European Union has given gi given more than 350 million euros. I think 356 million euros is the, the latest figure 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 that I, that I have seen uh, for the amount that is given to the to 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 to, to, the, to the Palestinian Authority. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, these uh, I'm, not ar I'm not arguing for a second that this aid should be should be should be cut off. This aid is providing essential services like health, education. Um, um, sanitation etc etc but what i am arguing is that um the european union uh should be um uh, a lot more prepared to hold israel to account to the point of actually sending the bill uh for for many of the these items to to the israeli government and in particular when as has happened on numerous occasions Israel bomb bombs uh, facilities that have been provided by uh, the European taxpayer. That the European European Union's authorities, particularly the European Commission, takes legal action against against uh, against Israel. Until now, uh, th 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 they have refused point blank to take a, take a, any legal action whatsoever uh, against Israel, despite despite the fact that, for example, um, during the the, the, the the attack on Gaza in two thousand and eight and two thousand and nine, there was at least, and this would appear to be a very conservative estimate, that there was at least eleven million euros worth of damage done directly to uh, EU, EU financed infrastructure. My my view. Uh, is that the European Union has a responsibility, uh, not only under international law but also legal and moral responsibilities to its own taxpayers to make make sure um, that uh, Israel foots the bill for damage that 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 it inflicts um, not only on the Palestinian people but 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 also on uh, directly on 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 aid that is pr provided by 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 the harder by by the hard pressed taxpayers of Europe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I ha the general public has the impression that America supports Israel 100% um, and Europe basically is not standing up to America. But the general public is not aware that Europe is actually directly colluding. Mm -hmm. So how, sure. would you, how would you describe... 
How can you summarize it and describe the collusion? Sure. Well, the first thing I'd say is that um, you're absolutely correct. I mean, the, the, uh, America um, is the pri primary obstacle in, 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 in many respects to uh, there being any, any kind of uh, a just uh, or fair resolution of, of the Israel-Palestine Palestine conflict. Um, Henry Kissinger once once remarked that the that the uh, Europe in, in it could not in a million years have any real influence. I, I'm paraphrasing rather than quoting directly, but he, he effectively said that Europe could could not in a million years have any real impact in, in the Middle East. Um, but I would argue that although although the uh, America remains the preeminent power in the world, the European Union is far from powerless. It is the main trading partner it is israel's main trading partner uh, as i mentioned earlier it's the main provider of aid to, to to the palestinian authority um it has the fact that the fact that it is israel's main trading trading partner and has been extending the scope of its trading relationship with israel gives us considerable leverage um over the israelis the the, the contractual relations between Europe, the European Union and 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 Israel um, are all contained in an agreement uh, called the the EU Israel Association Agreement that came into effect in two two thousand. Um, Article two of that agreement makes it abundantly clear, clear that um, the the entire relationship is based on the respect for human rights. But we know with ample evidence that. Uh, Throughout the the decade uh, j during which um, uh, that agreement ha has been has been in place, that Israel has uh, turned a blind eye to its legally binding commitments under that agreement and has uh, made life even more miserable for for for, for Palestinians than 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 than, than, than it, uh, already already was. But rather than actually, you know taking action against and rather than actually holding the Israelis accountable, um, the European Union has um, uh, deepened its relationship with, with, with Israel, you know, in flagrant um, breach of its own legally binding c c com commitments under, under, that, under that, that agreement. In the past year alone, for example, um, uh, the European Union has signed a very important uh, agreement on agricultural trade with Israel, under which almost all of Israel's food imports, uh, f food exports, sorry, um, can come into the, the European Union without having to pay customs du du duties. This has been an, of enormous importance to to Israel, the Israeli economy. But what we know, in theory, these these trade preferences preferences are only supposed to apply to. Um, Produce uh, grown in Israel proper to in inverted commas in in in, in what the European Union recognizes uh, as Israel, and it's not supposed to apply to uh, food grown uh, on Israeli settlements in in the in, in 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 the occupied West Bank. But in practice, what we know is, and indeed the Israeli companies don't make any secret of this, is that Agrexco, the the main um, food exporter in Israel mixes up the the two mixes up the two mixes up uh, produce grown in Israel proper and and produce grown grown in, in on, on Israeli settlements and then labels the whole lot as made in Israel business publications respectable reputable business publications in in Israel have uh, published uh, many uh, a number of articles offering advice to companies agri agri business uh, business companies in 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 um in, in, in occup um operating in the settlements on how they can circumvent uh the the um uh, and how they can how they can circumvent the 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 requirements of the uh, of the 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 the, 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 EU's, uh, the new Agreement, a relatively new agreement on on agricultural trade, and how they can masquerade as bona fide um, Israeli Israeli companies. So we know we know there's ample evidence in in for example in uh, in 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 Britain that there, 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 there's there's been estimates cited in in, in the House of Commons that um, uh, well over half of all 
goods, uh, food, f food items um, uh, in, um, that, that, that can be found on supermarket shelves in, in, in Britain um, are probably uh, originating uh, and are labelled as made in, in, in Israel are actually uh, originating from, 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 from Israeli, Israeli settlements in, 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 the, in, in the West Bank. The, Europe, the, the, have, the, the European Union uh, Union's officials are perfectly aware that these abuses are occurring yet they are not taking any they're not taking any real action whatsoever whatsoever uh, to pre prevent pre pre prevent them occurring in my view that is tantamount to complicity in in in, in the in the occupation the European Union is saying one thing and doing the doing exactly the opposite Israel continues to act as if all of inside Israel mm -hmm. and Gaza and West Bank is completely its official right and um, EU is completely complicit with that. So, sorry, could you... EU is completely complicit with that. It doesn't uh, challenge it at all. Uh, yeah, that, that's that, that's uh, that's uh, there 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 have been some minor challenges, you know. For example, Cathy Ashton, the the current um, uh, the European Union's current foreign policy chief, uh, has has made uh, what looked like a, on paper to be strong statements about East Jerusalem, um, about you know the expansion of settlements in East Jerusalem. Uh, uh, all, she's also um, voiced concern about the imprisonment of. Uh, Abdullah Abu Rama, one of the leaders of the the weekly protests um, against the 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 apartheid wall in in the West Bank, um, but but you know we these statements are welcome in this, in themselves, but they should not be taken in in isolation. Um, for Cathy Ashton um, has. Um, Connived in 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 the in, in what in what I would consider to be effectively neo-colonial tactics in 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 in, in, in um uh, w w with regard to to relations with um uh between the European Union and and and, and the, the Palestinians. In other words, I mean, anybody who knows anything about the history of colonialism and indeed in in, in Ireland we we know a lot about this from our history. Um. Anyone who knows anything about colonialism will know that there's a, that there's an age-old tactic called divide and rule, and that is exactly what is what has been happening um, in, uh, in in Palestine. In two thousand and six, there there was a an, an election that the European Union supported, uh, the United States supported um, uh, to to the Palis Palestinian Legis Legislative Council. To everybody's surprise, uh, the party um, that that emerged victorious in that election was, was, was including their own, I should say. Uh, to everybody's surprise, the, the party that did best then was was Hamas. Hamas. Uh, the European Union's own uh, um, supervisors found that that election was a free and a fair ele election yet when it emerged that Hamas w w was was the, the 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 strongest party the European Union decided that the people of Palestine had effectively voted the wrong way and as a result of the, as a result of that um uh, decided to um cut off uh, contacts with with Hamas and to only deal with with, with their rivals Fatah the result of, result of the, uh, the result of that is, uh, has been that to create create enormous disunity between uh, uh, among the representatives the political representatives of the, the, the Palestinian Palestinian people um, and effectively to uh, divide the the occupied Palestinian territories into into what into what some some commentators call um, Fatah land in other words the West Bank and um, Hamas stand, in other words, Gaza. Cathy Ashton, who I mentioned a moment ago, has uh, visited Gaza a number of times, and uh, I suppose she, you know, she can be commended for at least going there. But uh, when she's gone there, she's tried to present her visits as entirely humanitarian, quote unquote, humanitarian in nature, and, and focused entirely on on the you know provision of humanitarian. Uh, emergency aid to to the people of Gaza again presenting trying to present the European Union as being uh, extremely generous towards the Palestinians, but she has refused to um, 
meet uh, Hamas political leadership when she went to Gaza. Uh, it's it's all, uh, almost inconceivable that that somebody of uh, of Kat, Kat Ashton's stature would go anywhere else in the world uh, and refuse to meet the local political leadership. When she was in when she went to um, Jerusalem in the summer that had just passed in June or June or July, uh, she. Um, uh, was extremely pally, um, extremely w um, friendly with with uh, Avi Avidor Lieberman, the, the 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 very hawkish and very right wing, extreme extreme right, extremely right wing um, uh, foreign minister in 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 Israel. On that occasion, um, she called for the release of Gilad Shalit, the, 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 the Israeli soldier who, 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 who um, was captured some years earlier by, by Hamas, but totally uh, failed to acknowledge in any way that, um, uh, acknowledge in any way the plight of Palestinians who are um, detained, who are detained by, by Israel um, each year, seven hundred Palestinian children, uh, on average, uh, are uh, detained by by the Israelis, usually for um, offences no more serious than than throwing stones at at the the Israeli forces of of, of occupation. We know that um, many, if not most, of those um, children are tortured. Um, in some cases, suffer sexual assault by by the Israeli forces of, of, of occupation. Um, yet, Cathy Ashton didn't see, didn't see fit to 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 even broach the subject, at least in public, when, when she met uh, with with Avigdor Lieberman. You're saying you're highlighting the alliance. The question is why. Mm -hmm. If you can summarize, why is Europe an alliance with Israel? Very good question. Um, actually, there are several factors. Um, <laughs> it is difficult, difficult to 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 give a brief answer answer this. But um, I mean, I I I, I um, I, I, you know, I think I, 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 if I could just talk, speak about about a couple of them, I, I guess you know that the whole security situation over the past decade um, has been 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 extremely important um the israelis as, as we know have um very cleverly played the whole international geostrategic game uh, since the uh, september the 11th attacks in 2001 they have presented their war against the, the the palestinians as an indispensable part of the war on terror that that george bush George Bush declared, um, that has led led them to uh, increase cooperation with the security services, uh, in both is in both Europe and uh, Europe and, uh, and the United States. Um, the, another factor I think that is that shouldn't be un underestimated is that um, the Israelis themselves have wanted to. Build a much closer relationship with with the European Union, and this was particularly so when Zippy Livni was the foreign minister of the uh, of Israel a couple of years ago. Um, she was foreign minister until, until last year. Um, uh, she. Uh, uh, when she held that ministry, um, a, a number of. Um, Israeli diplomats and civil servants um, came to the conclusion that it would it would be a mistake for Israel to be entirely dependent on the United States in, in the way it ha or to remain entirely so dependent on, on the United States um, uh, in terms of um, uh, having the Americans um, always fighting fight, fighting for israel in, in in the united nations and other international international fora um, and that it would make you know that there was a realization that that although the although the united states remains the preeminent global power that there are other uh, emerging powers uh, in the world and the european union was seen as one of those um increasingly important um 
players in 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 the uh, on, on the world stage. So there the, the, there was a deliberate attempt uh, to reach out more to the both the European Union and um, it, it's it, it, it's uh, what to a large, a large extent is its sister organization NATO.